spine with a powerful scoop slam. Oh, make an appointment with your chiropractor after that. Camel clutch locked in, wrenching on the neck and lower back. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Yep, there's the reversal by Luke Harper. Of all the potentially career-ending moves Luke Harper destroys an opponent with, nothing is more frightening to see than his discus clothesline. When you see Harper's 275-pound frame begin its motion, the clothesline is one of the most punishing WWE has ever seen. Here's somebody who can do it all, whether it's in solo competition or as part of the team, which we're seeing here tonight. Not today, too fast. Making it look easy. And we're back to this form of attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. Six. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. He may never walk the same after that backbreaker. Oh, it's a slaughter, all right. Luke Harper's discus clothesline is so dangerous, he can finish an opponent off with it any time. Just when he seems to be down, Luke Harper spins, strikes, and rearranges his opponent's jaw with that clothesline. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history. He's focusing on the face now. Oh! Fighting from a position of full health here. effective move in all of sports entertainment. If you thought Monday Night Raw was exciting last night, just wait until you see what we have scheduled for tonight. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. He's showing no signs of letting up. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. Oh, wow. Another great SmackDown. Thank you for choosing to join us tonight. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most crushing finishing moves in all of WWE is Eric Rowan's Frog Splash. If you're the unfortunate recipient of this move, you can look forward to Rowan's six foot eight, 300 plus pound frame falling on your sternum. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. No kidding, this is getting ugly. What intensity! When he gets going like this. There are few better. This might not end well. Oh, the delayed gut wrench suplex. And it was effective. Cole, when we talk about Eric Rowan's splash, I still can't get over how high he jumps in the air for someone his size. Oh, what a clothesline. That's got to be it. Just toying with the competition a little. Looking to be in great physical condition here, almost impervious to pain. Oh, his body has to be broken right now.
Folks, it was in the city of Houston, Texas that Stone Cold Steve Austin did the unthinkable when he aligned himself with Mr. McMahon at WrestleMania 17. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Another electric crowd on hand here for SmackDown, as has been the norm over the years. And he finally gets out of the ring. Got to find a way out of this quickly or this one's over. Oh boy, it's cinched in. You can't stay locked in that too long. Something might break. Look at all this. All his attention and energy is now focused on that arm. Yeah, he's got tunnel vision. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Oh no, we know what this is. That's it, he's done. Submission and tight. Look at him trying to use all the strength and power he can muster to escape this. 